Aquarius, welcome. It's your heart spread read for the month of December. Pre shuffled. On the bottom of the deck, uh, we have the two of wands. I do read the bottom of the deck lightly. That's the Klimt art deck we're using today. I just started using this and reading some, so bear with me. Sometimes it kind of champs me up because it's so evocative, a little bit provocative. It's a, you know, um, erotic art deck okay so two of wands well it's appropriate if you're watching a love reading it could involve some kind of a choice keep in mind that wands are action it's like uh, we're being called to action often with the two of wands i don't see it so much as a, a or b choice it's stay or go you know move on or not move on move on into the relationship not move on that's more the energy um, so this is an eight card read if you haven't seen the heart spread before um, kind of um, looks at you and your person and get some advice from spirit on the relationship or if there is one because this is really reading who you're thinking of who's on your mind who's in your heart you don't even necessarily have to be with them okay let's see what we got this is wow nice start so Aquarius you're coming in this is your energy in and around love and relationships ten of pentacles so this is an excellent card to get in this position if you're cross watching you know you're dealing with a aquarius who is stable mature responsible um you're at a point in your life where i'm guessing you don't want to fool around so this choice becomes kind of important with the ten of pentacles you know it's you're not someone's going to make a quick choice you know like you could be sitting in this energy for a while maybe that's on your mind as you're watching this it's like should i stay or should i go now that kind of energy it, it, more to me than i don't know should i pick barb or deb or bob or ken you know that type of choice um, it's a great energy this represents where you're at personally separate from your person and you know this is uh sorry mosquitoes have to go this is an energy of um you know, you being in a really good place, uh, you know, not being needy, not being dependent, you don't have any worries about codependency and that kind of thing. Um, now your person's coming in with major arcana, the judgment card. Let's take a look at it. The Klimt Dark Deck's a little different. Um, kind of tells a story. And, you know, excuse me. I have to do that because <sighs> dengue fever is real. So... <laughs> I didn't realize they're going to be that bad out here, honestly. Uh, um, but we've had a lot of rain. And I can't really complain. But, man, that's a heavy judgment card. But, you know, it is heavy energy. Um, so you're you're meeting someone. This is outside forces bigger than us. However you want to look at that. Fate. God. I'm an astrologer. I look to the transits. I see the natal chart as a star map of our soul's journey here. So that's a natural place to look. Um, they would be dealing with something significant, you know, it could be so many things. Uh, Saturn comes to mind with judgment and uh, karma. Uh, can be similar energy with justice in terms of karma being involved. But this is like being called up to our purpose. Um, so this is kind of their separate energy. It does kind of imply to me that your person you're thinking of here that's on your mind, your heart, um, they might be a spiritually minded person, someone sensitive to energies. Um, they very well could be feeling this. Um, um, and it's not really having much to do necessarily with relationships unless, you know, they could, they, well, they probably would perceive relationships as being significant uh, spiritually um, in the big picture. That's kind of what this is. If you take in all these things into account usually judgment it's something that we sort of don't want to do you know uh, being called up to our purpose and the purpose is not exactly what we had in mind you know we wanted to be a playboy photographer and we're being asked to be a healer <laughs> in fact you know as an example <clears throat> queen of chalices queen of cups coming in this is a fantastic energy for you cross watcher if you're there you're dealing with a, a significant person here who has real feelings for you. I get the feeling like Aquarius, you're approaching this person 
with unconditional love. Now, I'm not saying the Queen of Chalices represents, per se, unconditional love, but there's an element of it there. It can often be Cancerian energy. Um, if not, it's Piscean. I typically see it's not so much as Scorpio, but that can be there too. <clears throat> I just think in this case, coming with the Ten of Pentacles, you know, Aquarius, you don't need any anyone. You don't, you know, desperately want anyone. You don't feel unfulfilled. You don't need someone to complete you. And so when you love them, cross-watcher, be advised, you are loving them with just for themselves, not to, for your own needs, not out of your own energy. It's a beautiful, beautiful energy to be in, okay? Now let's see how they're approaching you. Fantastic. Now this is the Sagittarius card. Again, yeah, very unusual for the Temperance card. That's my card, Strong Sag, okay, the archetype. Um, so I love this coming in for you, and it's kind of perfect because with judgment, I was going to say the one problem, I got the feeling like whatever this represents for them, let's take a clarification, <laughs> whatever this represents for them, they have to kind of deal with it in order to really engage with you because you're very solid. This is very interesting. Now, clarifying this, we're getting the star card, the Aquarius card. Um, they're being called up to their purpose. Uh, it has to do with the Levin House stuff, with communication, uh, with the, um, you know, uh, co conscious collective, unconscious collective, definitely spiritual energies. Um, this person might be trying to manifest, and they, in some way, they might be trying to manifest Aquarius energy. It might be another Aquarius person, and they might just have Aquarius energy um, in their uh, chart significantly, you know, um, in their sun, moon, uh, Venus, and, and rising. So keep that in mind. Could be part of what's going on there. Or really, they could have a significant transit. This judgment is a transit. I'm thinking Saturn. Saturn right now is in Aquarius. You know, I know because it's in my sixth house. And I've got another year and a half or so of this. And um, this is all about, you know, health and uh, organizing your daily schedule. Um, that kind of energy, but for them, you know, I think this is the hopes and dreams and wishes and I saw I'm a big manifestation channel I think right see this old family read that I do daily um, It's up for the weekend right now. I'm a little late on your reading. Sorry because it's Sunday. I usually get the Saturday uh, Saturday is Pisces Aquarius day um, <clears throat> But I think we have a manifester here and they're meeting your Queen of Chalices with the, the energy of temperance and that's fantastic. You know, that's, uh, they're, you're, as I said, you're coming very solid. You're loving them in a very unconditional way, very mature way, very unselfish way, selfless way. And they're meeting it um, with like the, I'd say the perfect energy. Um, Sagittarius, supposed to be patient, I'm going to say, we're not patient. But what it is about is, I think, just feeling like everything's okay. You don't see any red flags. You don't see any problems. There is no drama. And you're just cool. And you're living your life in a, <clears throat> in a, a very kind of balanced way with this person. I try to take into account, too, the, the difference in these cards and the interpretation. And I see here that um, I kind of, the way you're standing, you're kind of looking uh, not exactly at the reading. Um, so uh, you're... Uh, this relationship, it's, I don't know if it's even active yet, um, but you're sort of in this energy of you're kind of ready, but not being aggressive, not, you're kind of holding tight, and it could be them too. They're not uh, in the energy of just kind of jumping all over you, jumping right into it, even though I think at some level, I think what they would be feeling uh, with this temperance is maybe like you're the one, they're the one. Uh, but maybe there's like a timing issue. I think that's what it is. You know, it's like they're kind of like, shoot, I've found, I've been there. I've found the right one, but oh my God, it's not the right time. They could even be aware of this, guys. Let's see. Now, this is King of Wands. Okay, I like this. I really like this, okay? Aquarius. Now, you know, you could have anything, right? mostly be Aries placements. You could have Sag, I say, because that's fire. Whereas that in your chart, you could have one of the personal planets there, Mercury, Venus, or Mars, of some significance right now. Uh, but this is your advice from spirit. 
and how best to deal with this person. And basically, to me, guys, this is kind of saying pour it on. And uh, this is the part of you that is very confident, very outgoing. Um, you know, um, it, and this is advice from spirit. So let me see what their advice is to here. Five of Wands, interesting. Five of Wands. So it, spirit's not going to advise them to argue and bicker with you. Um, so the Five of Wands is kind of this engagement energy. Spirit, help me out. I need the clarification on the Five of Wands. The One of Wands. Okay, now you get the Six of Wands. So, um, <clears throat> Spirit's advising them basically like boundaries. And I, I want to be careful with this because this is, and with the, uh, you know, basically have the Ace of Wands. Um, they they do if you're doubting maybe like i don't know if they're into me dave they're kind of like not really coming all, all over me and maybe you're used to coming all over you coming all at you strong and 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 you're kind of like uh hmm, i don't know but maybe you think they're in, into you but they're not sure and with this energy i think there's a like i said there's a delay and it's uh probably frustrating for them this is like stop and this is like go stop go and I think that with temperance that's them the way they're dealing with you is is basically it's like crudely I, I don't want to lose her him so I'm gonna give them something um, but I'm not really ready to give you everything but it's coming from a place not like a player not like a, they're not like afraid of intimacy um, it's like they kind of know they're not quite ready to take the apple you know but they they really want to now this could manifest you guys having sex and making love and it's really hot and then then pull them back a little bit um and it, with the temperance i think they're probably doing a pretty good job for themselves of managing this and you know it's a relationship i'm i'm not so worried about the codependency the cell we learn to grow definitely it's karmic it always is um, you've got karma. You know, you didn't come into their life with this massive karmic energy all over them. It had nothing to do with you. It's where they're at, except for the fact that they probably manifested you in Aquarius the way you are into their life. Um, and it's like, uh, you know, I double <laughs> manifested. I was like, didn't see this coming. Um, and maybe like they manifested, but they're not quite ready to deal with it right now. Um, and but still you're being advised to you this is you taking the lead in the relationship is what this is I mean you're looking all kinds of more mature you could literally be older than them um, you could literally see them uh, as being you know less substantial than you and they would definitely I think see you that way as being more substantial than them um, there's that element I don't think it's a big deal I just think it's there and I just think it's universe pointing out to you because this is your advice and how to deal with them is like you're the queen of cups uh, you are the ten of pentacles person here you in fact are the king of wands and you need to act like it and pick up the slack it's like you know I don't think relationships are are are, are even and definitely not at the beginning I am not a big twin flame person but this could be a twin flame situation and actually uh, to me Aquarius it would seem like you would be the sleeper and they would be the activator um, but I think they they've like 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 they've activated it too soon uh, or they're having trouble like catching up to the energy uh, boy it's not been my problem it usually the manifestations I could I can't really say they come too soon um, but let's see where they're at now. What did Spirit's advising for the relationship as a whole, the Hierophant? This is advice from Spirit for the relationship as a whole. Kind of the almost three most important cards are the advice for you, the advice for them, and the advice for both of you. Because this, I believe, is direct advice from Spirit. Um, and this is elevating this relationship kind of to the highest level. So, and it's a marriage, guys. Now... I don't know if you're gonna like that. Leave me a comment and say, "Are you out of your fucking mind? Not getting married?" Or say, "Hmm, you know." Um, 
and, and it may be a little strange right now because they're kind of up and down. I think if you understand why, they've got some serious transits going on. They're, they're kind of wrapping up some kind of uh, probably cycle. Um, they're stepping into their power, ah, stepping into their power. And um, really, when I see the temperance, they're really doing their best to deal with you in a just way. And it's a Jupiter card. Jupiter's the, the real, um, rather than Libra, you know, Jupiter rep represents balance and fairness, I believe, um, and egalitarianism and the law. And so they're trying to react to you in the best way that they can. They might be having a little trouble with it, you know, like they have a lot of passion for you too. Temperance is fire. Outcome, very important here. Holy shit. This is amazing. To get the advice from spirit as the hair font and the outcome as <laughs> the uh, chariot card, a cancer card now. Um, this is amazing. I'm asking you a favor. If you're watching this still and you know anything about astrology, you know, I'm an astrologer, I love to do synastry charts. Would you tell me what is in the composite chart with you and this person if you know? Not the synastry, but the composite. I'd like to know if you're a Cancer Ascendant or a Cancer Sun person. Or maybe Sun in the fourth house. A couple, I mean, not person. Uh, because I think you have a really strong relationship here. I get the feeling, I want to tell you, this relationship is, is maybe the one. It's going to end in marriage. It may not seem that way now. And with the Chariot card, it's like both of you, and I saw this with them too, with the star coming in and judgment. They, they would see this relationship as like a sign that they're in alignment with their soul's path and feel like your relationship aligns them with their soul's path. And that's why this is not only marriage, it's the highest level. It's the Pope, I guess, literally. So it's the highest level of spirituality expressed on earth. So it's very solid energy too. Pentacles, I think you take the lead in this. And you notice, too, in the reading, this chariot is facing your uh, queen of cups and facing you. So this person will come to you. That seems obvious. This is your reading. Um, you will receive them, and they will come to you. And your even advice from spirit is to just really enjoy this, uh, be confident, uh, embrace them. Uh, I think you can, if there's any doubt in this relationship, move ahead with it. I mean, the chariot is just about one of the best outcomes that you can have for a heart spread, particularly if you're any kind of spiritually minded person. Because um, that's you guys being really successful as a couple. And with the chariot, it's not so much like the six of, uh, of wands, like you're being uh, uh, lauded by the people around you. This is like your own guides and um, spirit and higher self is applauding you because this relationship is aligning you guys both with your higher purpose, you know. I mean, maybe uh, this person is not capable of the kind of unconditional love that you're capable of, and that's what they see in you and are drawn to, but you will elevate them, and they may step into that. I see them, like, really trying. Temperance, Five of Wands, Ace of Wands. But I don't think this Ace of Wands, like you're really noticing, is arguing and bickering because it's with themselves. They're taking actions to try to balance things out and, and move into this very solid energy you have and unconditional love energy you have. And uh, I think Spirit's telling you, don't, don't think you're too spiritual to have an orgasm and have incredible uh, sex and to take the lead. Because look, these wands are still fire. I mean, Spirit's saying there's, a, there's this passion between you and um, that's... Um, that's a big go. I mean, I love that, you know. Uh, so thank you, guys. Let me know what you think of this. If you can think of anywhere to share this, any social platform, please do and help me out. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the bell. Normally, always Saturdays is Aquarius and Pisces Day uh, for the heart spread. And I do have a singles read, too, that I always do on Saturdays. That's for if you have no one on your mind. Thank you, guys.